Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to be explaining if statements in Java. So an if statement is a simple decision making statement based on a condition. So we are going to specify a condition uh, so we can execute a piece of code. Okay. So and then we are going to create this condition by using the comparison operators, which are five. And also we can use Boolean the variables to create to do that so first we are gonna use one of these uh, five comparison operators which are the bigger than sign the less than sign the bigger than or equal sign the less than or equal sign and then the equal sign so we don't use one equal sign to compare two variables because we use that one equal sign to assign the variables to create the variables okay so if one if i wanted to create a variable i'm gonna name it var and then i'm gonna create it by using one one equal sign if you if i wanted to compare two variables i'm gonna use two equal signs okay <clears throat> so let's create an if statement all right um first we're gonna create a variable so we can compare something to it okay so int age is equal to 18 so anybody that is 18 years old or less will be in school all right so i'm gonna print on the screen that if the pr person is 18 or less will be in school so we're gonna use the if statement to, to do that so if statements is are created by using the if keyword okay and then we're gonna um, create two brackets so we can put the condition inside of them okay and then you create two curly braces so you can put the code inside okay the code you want to execute okay so we are gonna compare inside of this the value of age to 18 okay so if the age is less than or equal less than or equals to 18 okay so if this condition is true we are gonna execute this code so we're gonna print on the screen that you are in school okay so this condition will be true here and then we will execute the code all right you are in school okay so maybe we wanted to print something else if the condition is not true, okay? So we are going to use that by using the else statement. So else, else, if the condition here is not true, else we will uh, execute this code here. So if anybody is um, older than 18 years old, they will not be in school, okay? So generally. So we are going to print this code here which is you are not in school so if i change this here to maybe 19 so that's more than 18 so let's see you are not in school okay so the program creates the variable age it will assign 19 to it it will go inside of the uh, if statement it will see if this is if this condition is true which is not true here because 18 is less than uh, 19 and we are comparing if the age is less than 18 and then we are going to execute this code so this will will be ignored and then we will um, create <coughs> Uh, print this on the screen. So let's say we wanted to add another condition. Um, you add that by doing, typing the else if statement. So the else if statement will add another condition to our if statement. Okay. So as you can see here in the else statement, we don't use we don't use a condition, but in the else if statement we use a condition right here. Okay. So if age is, let's say, equal to 19, we are going to print the statement here, which is 
you are working. Maybe let's say you are working. So as you can see, it will print the you are working statement, but it will also ignore the else statement. So we are going to go inside of the program. We're going to create the variable 19. We are going to go inside of the if statement first. We are going to see if 19 is less than 18, we will execute this code, which is not. So 19 is bigger than 18. We will ignore this code. Okay. We will go to the other if statement. Else if age is equal to 19, we are going to type the you are working uh, statement. But you will need to um, consider this. If there are two conditions true, the program will only execute the one on the top. Okay, let's say if I if the age is 17 is equal to 17. Yeah, let's compare the age to 17 here and change the value here to 18. Okay, so now these two conditions are true. Okay, this condition here is true and this condition here is true. Okay, so the program will see the first condition if that is true, it will ignore everything else, even if this condition here also is true. Okay, yeah, let's change that to 17. So now 17 is less than 18, and it's also equal to, to 17. Okay, so let's see. We will print only the if statement, which, which is you are in school only. Okay, so int, we are, oh, we are going to create an integer which is age, we are going to assign to it 17. And then we are going to go inside of the if statement, we are going to compare it to not to 18. If it is less, we are going to execute this code. And then we are going to ignore all of this code right here. So that is how the program works. And that is how the if statements work.